Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the card of today for Monday the 9th of May 2016. The sun is shining here, absolutely glorious day, uh, start of a new week, and the card, I was hoping that there would be a lovely, happy, smiley card today, but this card is really, really heavy, so I apologise in advance for that. Um, the card that I pulled today is the Seven of Wands or the Seven of Rods in, in this particular tarot. Um, now, whenever sevens come in, they're always sort of a test of your faith. All, all of the sevens within tarot are sort of testing your faith in some way. And this card itself, this is all about challenges. That is the key word for this, for this card. So what it also does is tell you that you it is time for you to stand your ground here. Um, I feel that there's opposition for you as well. In different tarot decks, you see the guy walking along the tops of these rods. So it's sort of like he's having to watch his step. He's, he's walking on eggshells, you know, um, and he's having to be vigilant as well. If we have a look, he has one of his rods actually over his chest you know this is as if he's ready to fight you know he's, he's ready to block anything that that is coming to him so there is an element of um being on your on the defense in in this as well you know because i really feel that he is facing opposition and i feel that this is from from other people as well other people telling you what you should do, uh, how you should be living your life, how you should be reacting to certain situations, you know, etc., etc. But, you know, this is your life. You only have one. People will have opinions, but that doesn't make mean that they're right, you know. So with this card, I really want to say that it's like it's time to stand up for what you actually believe in, you know, and have courage in your own convictions, you know, because with determination you will get through this. You know, yes, it's a very challenging time at the moment. You know, it, it, it really is. But I don't feel that it's going to be there forever. If we remember the eight of rods, which comes after the seven, is all about something coming out of the blue and stirring things up, but usually in a good way. So we have this period, this window of challenges at the moment, but I don't feel that it should it should last long, that... that I don't feel it should last that long, you know, maybe a week, I think, maybe a week, week or two, you know, so like I say, there's this little bit of, of, of a, a challenge going on here. What I want to say within this card as well is please be mindful of where your thoughts go, because with this card, there is so much head fog, head mess, head... Uh, I don't even know what the word is for this because it's it's head mess, I think, fits fits more because this is your thoughts going over and over and over. And when I'm saying that you have to defend yourself from other people, I also feel that there's an element here where you have to defend yourself from yourself, from your own mind. You know, you we must remember that you, you know, you're, you are not your mind. So you have power over it. You have control over it. And this is why there's a lot of yellow in this card as well, you know, because this is your power. This is your personal power. And it's sometimes uh, I feel when this card comes up, it's like you could be your worst enemy. You could be talking yourself out of things or the negative chatter that is in your head that is actually geared towards yourself is it's damaging. It's detrimental, you know. Think about words that you're saying to yourself. Think about insults, put downs, all of this that your head is constantly saying to yourself. And think, would you actually speak these words to another person? Because the, the chances are you, you, you probably wouldn't, you know? So there's a really a lot going on with this. I feel externally you're having to fight your corner, but I feel internally as well there's still a fight going on with that as well. The interesting thing about this is that both sides, you know, the external people that are, are trying to fight you and yourself, the stem of this, these attacks are actually coming through fear. There's an element of fear there. The people on the outside, 
They don't want you to achieve your goals. They don't want you to actually just up and off and say, you know what, this is where I'm going. They don't want that. They want to keep you, they want to keep you there. So there's an element of fear within them. You know, what they could do with this fear, they could then sort of put you down, you know, or tell you that your, you know, your, your head is in the clouds and, you know, that this is not realistic what you're wanting, you know, um, I've heard people say, you know, you're having a midlife crisis, you're bipolar, you're whatever, all because you start to think differently and you start to awaken. This actually, um, rocks the status quo within their world and they want everything kept as it is, you know. Um, this is very common as well and within this card, sorry, they're, they're, they're bringing in them. There could also be an element of codependency within this as well, within uh, this, this card. Um, now, the, the interesting thing with codependency is often the person who is codependent is usually has fears of abandonment, fears of being by themselves, and fears of not living up to the mark, not living up to expectations. The person who they are often usually attracted to or in another relationship with as well are you is usually a person that is afraid of commitment, afraid to open, afraid to be honest with their emotions, so they can be quite cold and hard. So what you get then is you get this person who is wanting to please, who is doing everything they can to please this person who can never be pleased. Um, and very, very often they are drawn together, and this is not healthy, you know. Both parties are coming from a fear base, but it's just like, it, it, it's like this, it's like a hamster on the wheel. You're, you're going and going and going. It, it's all wretch and no vomit, you know. Nothing is ever going to come from this. So that's coming in as well today. So there's a real, I don't know, like I say, it seems like a bit of a mess, but remember, it is a challenge. It is a test of your faith. So I do feel that you will get through this. What I want to do, this guy is looking back to the past and I, I, I just want him to say, no, you know, it's about the future now. It's about actually looking to where you're going, to where you want to be, you know. Um, don't let pride get in, in the way of things as well. I, I listen to so many people and, uh, you know, when, when I do readings and just in general, and what they say is, yeah, I know this isn't good for me. I know this isn't healthy, but I don't want to see be seen as giving in. I don't want to be seen as failing. So I'm just going to dig my heels in and I'm going to try and try and try some more. What they are doing here is they are giving their complete power away. They're giving their complete energy away on something that is never, ever going to work, that is never going to bring them the happiness that they deserve and is never going to bring either the other party or, you know, the, the, the situation is not going to, it, it's, th there is no happy ending. And I'm, I'm sorry, that has to be blown. That, that's what's just came in there, you know. Um, so this is really about facing up, you know. There is no need to prove yourself. Do not let pride make you stick somewhere where you are not happy. Just to say, yeah, look, this is what I'm doing. I'm doing the right thing, you know. No, <laughs> don't do it. Sorry, I, I nearly swore there. You know, this is your life. And, you know, the only person you have to prove anything to is yourself. You know, if you know deep down you are living how your soul wants you to, you are living a life that makes you happy, um, it doesn't matter what anybody else says. It, it doesn't. It, it, this is about, about you, you know. Um, we cannot, as, as people, we cannot, we don't have control over what other people say to us or what other people think or, you know, um, whatever like that. We, we have no control over that. What we do have control over is how we react and how we let this affect us. You know, so I really want to say here, don't let anybody's words or actions bring you down or 
Don't let anybody else's words or actions stop you from believing in yourself and stop you from believing on that you can get to where, where you want to be, you know. How many people, if we look at Einstein, if we look at Tesla, if we look at Roger Bannister, if we look, there's so many people throughout history who were actually laughed at, you know. Um, people laughed at them because their ideas seemed that crazy. They were against the norm. But these people persevered and they believed in themselves and they believed that, you know, what they knew was was right was the truth. And they set about proving that, not to prove it to other people. It was to actually prove it to themselves. And this is very, very similar to the Seven of, of Rods. This is what it's about. As long as you know, and as long as you know that you are on the right path, then it, it doesn't matter, you know. Once you actually realize this, once you know this, once you face up to the challenge, this is when you can take this rod down, you can stop your defensiveness, and you can actually stop looking back to the past, and you can then move forward. You know, Gandhi once said, um, you know, I will not let anyone walk through my mind with their dirty feet. And that is such a brilliant sum up of the seven of rods. But also yourself, you know, don't don't put your dirty shoes on to walk through your own mind, you know, because like I say, there's a little bit of where you're beating yourself up here as well and not speaking kindly to yourself. So if today you you get these these this negative chatter to yourself, actually try and say out loud what you're saying and you will realize how detrimental this is, you know. Or think about saying something to that. Think about saying that same thing to another person. Or if another person was saying that to you, how would you feel? You know, so really it, 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 it's, it's external and it's in, internal, this card. But it's really about don't give in to the demands of others, you know. Stand up for what you believe in. You know, there is an aspect of yourself here that is desperately trying to get your attention. Um, and I feel that it's, it's, it's a part of yourself that you need to accept as well. You know, don't think that you're doing anything wrong just because you may think differently to other people in your circle. You know, you are you and you're not walking in their shoes, but they're not walking in yours either. So this is all about, you know, having the courage in your own convictions, having determination to get through this challenge in time, because I don't feel, I don't feel it's long. I, I really, really don't. I would say maybe by next Tuesday, um, it's gone, you know, and just, just be you. Surrender to yourself, you know, know where you are wanting to go and don't let anybody else sort of put barriers up or roadblocks or detour you or, make you doubt yourself. This is the this is the worst thing. A lot of people, we can be all riled up about something, you know, and yeah, this is what I want. And then somebody will just come along with an off the mark comment, you know, which straight away like bursts our bubble, you know, and that that is, please don't let that happen to here, happen here. Don't let other people's words cause you to doubt yourself or your dreams or your convictions. You know, and remember that, you know, our thoughts are very, very powerful and our thoughts become things. Um, so really be careful where you're putting your energy as well, because whatever, wherever you're putting your energy, this will eventually manifest. So really try and put this in a positive way, because otherwise you could be sort of writing your own downfall, if, if, if that makes sense, you know, because it's, there's a lot in here, it's like, if you keep fighting against nothing, or worrying about what could happen, you may actually bring that, you know, and you may actually cause your own defeat, so be gentle with yourself today, you know, be, be nice to yourself, you don't have to fight anybody that is opposing you, you know, be a peaceful warrior, that's, that's what they've just said there, be a peaceful warrior. Take whatever somebody says, but then push it straight back, you know. Develop like a like a Teflon 
Teflon energy field around you. So whatever anybody says, just bounce straight back at them and stand your ground, dig your heels in and go after what you know in your heart is right. You know, even if your mind sometimes tells you that that's wrong, you you know, go, go to that place of knowing and that let that be your guide over the next coming days. Okay, so I hope you like that one. Sorry, it is a bit heavy for a Monday morning, but you know, some good messages in there, I I, I think. Uh, if anybody would like a reading with me this week, please get in touch via Facebook uh, or you can email me at lovebuddhatarot at aol.co.uk. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And please let me know in the comments. Uh, I know I, I get quite a lot of inbox messages from people who are saying how the cards are resonating with them, you know. But come on, share the love a little bit, you know. Let, let everybody know. Because once somebody starts to comment, then other people join in as well, you know. And that's what this is all about, you know. It's, it, it's about connecting with different people. And it's about, you know... what. what we're all on this journey together, you know, so it's it's nice to have people people along the way who you can sort of stop and just, I don't know, who, who understand it as well. Okay, so have an absolutely wonderful day today. I'll be back tomorrow with the card of today, Satnam.